Hey everyone, my name is Daniel, and if you're new to the channel, I'm converting the 2001 Jeep Cherokee from a gas-powered car to an electric car. So, if you're interested in that sort of thing, feel free to subscribe. Uh, in the last video, I talked about taking the engine out of the Jeep, uh, and I actually have it sitting in my driveway, um, but I've also detached the transmission from the engine. Um, so the goal of this video is to actually mate the transmission from the Jeep with the electric motor. Um, and then ultimately after that, uh, the goal is to mount the transmission back into the Jeep uh, along with the electric motor. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So a really simple explanation of what I'm doing uh, it can be shown by this diagram. So as you can see in this image, the big red box on the left side of the car is the engine. Uh, and just to the right of it, the gray sort of cylindrical cone-shaped object is the transmission of the car. And in a normal gas-powered car, the engine turns an axle within the transmission, which then turns the main drive shaft, which is the long gray cylinder going to the back axle, which then turns the wheels. What I've done is I took the engine and transmission out of the Jeep and detached the two. And what I'm planning to do in this video is to attach the and mate the electric motor to the transmission of the Jeep. And once I do that, I can mount the transmission back into the Jeep with the electric motor attached in place of the engine. Okay, so the first order of business is to heat up the flywheel hub. And what this does is that when the flywheel hub is heated, it expands. And that allows me to slide the hub onto the shaft of the motor. Um, and the shaft is obviously a keyed shaft, so it keeps the flywheel hub in place. And what this hub does is it essentially connects the electric motor to the drivetrain of the Jeep through the flywheel. Before I put on the flywheel hub, however, I had to put on the motor adapter. Right now, what we need to do um, is to mount this adapter here onto the motor. And this is basically just four bolts here that just go directly into the motor. Okay, so as you can see here, I'm actually repositioning the motor adapter in a way that will allow for the electrical connections on the motor to be facing upwards when I mount it to the transmission. And basically what this does is it just allows for easier access going forward. Um, I'm also screwing in the bolts into the motor uh, in a sort of crisscross pattern, which is just in an effort to make sure the adapter plate goes on evenly. Um, and then after this, uh, I will be mounting the flywheel. Here I'm taking the flywheel hub out of the oven. and I have to get it on pretty quickly because it's pretty hot, um, but you'll hear a loud clank when it goes on. Okay, and then it's on. And I just hold it for a few seconds, maybe 10 to 20 seconds, just to make sure it's on there. Okay, now we can attach the flywheel and clutch to the motor adapter and then use that to mate the motor and transmission. Okay, so uh, right now I have the uh, six bolt holes on the flywheel lined up with those of the motor adapter and then I have one bolt in right now. Um, but basically this just means that the flywheel is spinning in fact with the uh, shaft of the motor. Um, that's the idea. And um, basically how I'm going to be mounting these bolts uh, is uh, in a star-shaped pattern, uh, just for uh, the sake of being even, um, making sure that this flywheel goes on uh, in a balanced and even way. Um, so it's going to be this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, here, um, here, and then here. Um, and then uh, obviously all these bolts are going to be uh, torques down, I uh, think to around 80 newton meters as well. So I'm gonna get to that. All right, so now that we have the flywheel installed, 
um, and all the bolts torque down attached to the uh, motor adapter and therefore the motor shaft, we now need to install the clutch. Um, and basically the clutch just goes on top of the uh, flywheel. Um, and so we first need to basically mount this clutch um, or basically just line up this clutch plate right here on top of the flywheel. And then we have to uh, mount this on top of that plate. Um, and this kind of pressure fits the uh, plate to the flywheel and allows for the clutch to work. And we just need to line up the, I think there are six bolts here um, to the flywheel. And once we have that all lined up and installed, then we can just mount the transmission on top of that. Once we had the clutch and flywheel connected to the motor shaft, it was time to mate the electric motor and transmission. This took a little bit of time and some trial and error, but we eventually got it to work. 